for the whole planet. And as she said at the beginning of this interview, TEPCO doesn't know how to fix it. They don't have any plan. Um, uh, they're trying to get out of the responsibility for it. This thing, if, if even without a collapse of, of the reactors, uh, it, very well two or three, four years from now, it still could be sitting there in the same condition. That's what that's what. Well, yeah, and it still could be leaking. And it still could be leaking. leaking. Goes on, it's, that's it's right. Just keep doing this to the planet. And that's to right. The Pacific, and eventually, uh, the, a little bit of good news for you. Uh, there's, a, there's a magazine called Granta. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No. It's an English magazine. comes out quarterly. It's actually a literature magazine. And every issue has a featured theme. Sometimes it's sex. Sometimes it's war. Sometimes it's poetry. Sometimes it's new writers. And uh, issue 83 had the environment as the issue. And there was an article in it about the Greenland pump. And that is uh, an expression that they use to show how the water moves south past Greenland. And what they said in that article, which is a little bit encouraging, is that uh, now, of course, this, this magazine was probably about seven years ago, the water from Greenland takes about 100 years to get to the Pacific. So hopefully, and vice versa. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's what so we... In other words, the Atlantic Ocean is much safer right now. So if you're going to eat anything and you're worried, I mean, there's still going to be some of the fallout from Fukushima that does end up in the Atlantic Ocean from the air. But from the water, it probably won't, won't be that way. So you're probably all right to, to swim and so on and, and, and eat fish out of the Atlantic for a while, for probably the next 100 years at least. Well, that is, that is uh, encouraging. Uh, my guest today, Dr. Conrad Miller, um, specialist in emergency medicine in, in um, New York State. And uh, his website is crestofthewave.com, crestofthewave.com. And he's also the author of a book, Most Important Issues um, That, uh, let me get this right, uh, the most important issues that people Americans think they think, know enough about. Think they know enough about. Right. And one chapter is on nuclear power. There's only six chapters in the book, and I have the whole nuclear power chapter if you want to read about it with the background, the story about Chernobyl, uh, in food uh, radiation, and uh, Yucca Mountain. That's for free on the website. It's like an e-chapter. You can just go to the website on the home page and click on it, and you can read the whole chapter for All free. All right. That's crestofthewave.com. Again, the book, The Most Important Issues That Americans Think They Know Enough About. Uh, my guest, Dr. Conrad Miller. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Appreciate you being on True News. Okay, Rick, and thanks very much for having me.